This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. Hey, what is going on guys? Jay Shy here with another video. And um, this is another unboxing video. But this is an unboxing that I feel like I just had to share with you guys. Um, now, I already opened this game uh, months ago. Um, but I figured this was one of the coolest limited editions I ever bought since last year. Um, I think it was the only limited edition I bought last year. And I feel like it was really, really worth it. Um, so this is... Genmu Tengoku. This is a uh, a <laughs> old port of a Sega Saturn game, and you know how expensive Sega Saturn games can get. Um, so when I heard that this was coming out and it was getting a PS4 kind of like port, I just had to jump on it. Um, it is a vertical shmup. It's a shooter. I love my vertical shooters. I love cave shooters, uh, Ryzen shooters. Games like uh, Dodon Patch, Sai Daojo, and um, games like Battle Garega, and other games like Mushihemi Sama Futari. Like, I love those kind of vertical shmups. And this is one of those. But this game originally came out on a Sega Saturn. And I felt like this was one of the coolest uh, kind of um, limited editions that I've ever seen. And it's weird because we don't get limited editions like this. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. So I packaged it up exactly how I got it when I got it in the mail Except there's no cellophane wrapping on the game itself, but I did put the game back inside the box um, So I just wanted to share this with you guys. So this is Game Paradise Tengoku um, It tells you all the little things that are inside, but obviously uh, a lot of us can't read any of this um, I know neither can I but um is that, I don't know if this was the date the, the original game came out. You can't... Yeah, 1997. Um, it came out on the Sega Saturn. Um, it seems like the Sega, the Sega Saturn was the best in Japan. Um, I actually like this packaging that this game came out with. Because usually when you get a limited edition this big, um, in the US, uh, there's just like shrink wrap over it they don't have like this packaging that you can put it back in if you want to protect your stuff which i always think is cool that japan does so this was uh a limited print and um i just had to get it um so it opens up like a little booklet um this was the ami ami exclusive it's a um i well you put your credit cards and your id information and all this stuff I imported this from AmiAmi.com, which is in Japan, so it came with this, this is actually pretty cool, I, I don't think I'm, I'm never, probably never going to use this, because I'd rather just have a real wallet in my pocket anyway, but this is really cool. Uh, next is the, uh, kind of like the, uh, the art book for all the concept designs of the original anime. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool because it has like all this concept art in it and like all these little notes and stuff that I can't read but I think it's still cool nonetheless to have um, and the art is pretty cool like classic like from the 80s kind of anime art a lot of it's pretty cool I did look through this whole booklet and even like it has this kind of cover which I really do like the classic stuff, and you know, it kind of brings me back uh, to my childhood a bit. So let's do the other side. See, <laughs> uh, I wish that um, a lot of um, limited editions, you know, stateside, kind of put this kind of a lot of pride in this. But it usually they like they just kind of package it up with like a soundtrack and on occasionally you get like a figurine or a statue i think the last statue that i really did like that i never purchased from the Amer from an american release was the witcher 3 i thought that was a pretty cool release uh limited edition now to me the real reason why i got this limited edition was also because of this box and the game but was because of this so let me pull this out really really so it has like this nice kind of like feel on it. So what this is is the original script for Tengoku uh, anime. This is 
the original like writing the script inside everybody who pre-ordered this limited edition got this and i just think it's such a cool piece of history you know even though i can't read it i still think it's pretty pretty cool this was the main driving force to get this was because of the script you know like how often do you get a limited edition i i'm pretty sure we've gotten it before but how often does it happen that you get a script to something packaged with your game so i thought that was pretty cool um now here's the game uh genmu tengoku game paradise cruising mix this is the game um, I don't know what are the extras that come with this game. Um, I'm not even sure what they are, but I think one of them is that you get to choose her as a character, if I'm not mistaken. Now, what was also cool about this game was that it also comes with the original anime. I think the problem is I haven't watched it yet, but I think the only thing is, is that... Sorry, quick edit. <laughs> Now, the only thing that I think that's off about this is that I don't think there's English subtitles. Um, I don't think that there's any. I think it's all in Japanese and you gotta kind of watch it and hope for the best. <laughs> there's no English subtitles. I don't know what this is, actually. What is this? Oh, it's a code. Huh. I didn't know I had this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had a code. I just kind of played the game and then just played. <laughs> there's the game. So, there's... I don't think there's any artwork behind here. Oh, there is. Look at that. I did play the game, did beat it, and I play it now to try and get a better score, but it's really, really difficult. And last but not least is a postcard. So, I don't know what that is, but whoever wants that, you can have it. <laughs> so, that is the Genmu Tengoku Game Paradise Cruising Mix box set. Uh, I really wanted to share it with you guys. I figured you would appreciate this anyway, so I don't want my unboxings to be over 10 minutes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.